Hi there, my name's Vince from MyMateVince.com and in this video today I'm going to show you all the different ways you can connect up your controllers to your PlayStation 4 system. So in this video I'm using a PlayStation 4 Pro, it will be exactly the same for the original PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 4 Slim. So whether your original one's broken and you've bought a replacement one, or whether you want to connect up two, three or four controllers because you're having friends over to play. So at the moment what I've done is I've unsynced these, so these are no longer paired to my system, so this will be the same as when you buy a new controller. You can see they're flashing here. Now this is so easy to do, but there's different ways of doing it. So I'm going to start with the easiest way, which is just using a USB cable. So if we get the original USB cable, that's the micro USB cable that we got with the PlayStation. So this is probably what you use to charge your controllers. And we're just going to plug one end into there, make sure it goes in the right way around. And then we're going to plug the micro USB into the controller. And then all we have to do is hit the PlayStation button. So hold it down and you can see it's gone to blue. And now if we come back up to the screen, you can see that it's working fine. Now let's say if we wanted to connect up a second controller. Well, all we do is we use the same cable again and this time we're gonna plug it into this controller. And again, you can see that it's starting to charge and now I'm gonna hold it down. And now it's gone to red. And if you have a look up here now, it will now ask me who do I wanna connect as? the main user, which is myself, or a new user. So I can go over to the new user, press X, and now, for example, I can play as a guest, and now that will be working as a second controller. So blue is the first one, red's the second one. And if you're interested, the third one would be green, and the fourth one would be pink. So if you had four people playing, you can tell what player you are by the color of the controller. So now, let's say if that option doesn't work, chances are that you've got a faulty USB cable. So all we're going to do is unplug that USB cable, and then we can try another cable, possibly one from an Android mobile phone. So this is my one from my Android phone, and if you have a look, this is also a micro USB. And this will also work to connect up your controller. So you don't need a special PlayStation lead, all you need is a micro USB to a USB cable. Now if you find that it's not working, what that means is that it could be a very cheap lead and it might only have two wires in it. So basically with these cables they've got four wires in them. Two to give them power, so that's two to charge it up, and two for data. Well when it comes to the PlayStation, remember we can use this to charge up the controllers and we can also use it to pair up the controllers to the system. So you have to have a lead with four wires. So if your lead's not working, it's probably because it's just a dedicated charging cable rather than one that does charging and data. But most mobile phone, Android mobile phone leads will work if the first lead doesn't work, try another lead. If that doesn't work, try another port, just in case your USB port is playing up. So if you've tried two leads and two USB ports and it still doesn't work, then what I would suggest doing is resetting your controller. So if we have a look here, if you look closely at the back, you will see that there's a little hole here. We just need to get something like a paper clip and put it in there and just tap it. And now you can see that the controller's gone off. And now what we can do is plug our cable in again and you will see it charging, and now try it again. And hopefully that will work. Now, if none of these leads work, then try turning off your PlayStation and turn it back on again. So right now it's on, I'm gonna hold the power button, so I'm gonna physically do it on the actual console. I'm gonna hold the power button down until it beeps twice. Once. Twice. And now it's preparing to turn off the PS4. And now wait until it's fully turned off. So now when the lights have fully gone out, what you need to do is you need to go over to the power supply and you need to just unplug it for around 30 seconds. And then after 30 seconds, plug it back in again and then turn it on via the actual console, so hit the power button, and again, try the same process again. So plug in the USB cable into the port, and then into your controller. If you don't have any luck, try the reset button again, and do the same process over. Now, if none of those options work, it could be that there's an issue with the USB port up here, in which case then, I'm now gonna show you two ways of connecting up via Bluetooth. So we've got one working controller and this one here is not working. So if you have a look here, you can see it's just flashing like that. So on the working controller, what we wanna do is we wanna go up to settings 
and we want to press X and then we want to go down to devices so you can see devices here and I want to press X then under Bluetooth devices I want to press X and now you can see that it's recognized this one working controller well I want to now connect up the second controller this one here so what we have to do is we have to put it into pairing mode so we need to press the share button and then hold down the PlayStation button so they're both down at the same time for about three or four seconds and now you can see it started to flash and now it's come up with DualShock 4 up there the reason we do them like that instead of hitting them both at the same time is sometimes you can hit the PlayStation button a split second before that one and then it doesn't work so make sure you hit the share button first then the PlayStation button so now I need to go down to the new controller with my working controller to this one and I need to press X and it says do you wish to register this Bluetooth device and I'm going to hit X and now if you have a look the one that wasn't working has now gone to red because it is the second player and again I can go over to new user and then play as a guest etc etc right if you've only got the one PlayStation 4 controller and you want to set it up wirelessly so for example if the wired cable isn't working and you're looking to do it via Bluetooth then it will only work if you've already previously set up HDMI CEC on your PlayStation 4 when you had a working controller. So if you're watching this out of curiosity, it might be worth doing this now because it might help you out in the future. So here's our working controller. Let me show you what you have to do. We're going to go up to settings. We're going to press X. We're going to go all the way down to system and press X. And then we're going to go to where it says enable HDMI device link. And we're going to press X. Okay, so that's that bit done now. And now on your TV, it will vary on the TV. This is a Samsung TV. On this one, I need to go to settings. And I need to go down to system. And then I need to go across and I need to go to expert settings. And I need to press this middle button to enter. And then I need to go down to this one here that says AniNet Plus HDMI CEC. And at the moment it's off. Well, I'm going to press the enter and I'm going to turn it on. So I'm going to move the up arrow to on and then press enter again. And now that's on so I can exit out of that. Right now, when we go to turn it off, we can actually turn on our PlayStation 4 via the remote control of the TV and we can use this to navigate the menu. So I'm just going to show you now. Can you see I'm moving around the menu here? Okay, so the PlayStation 4 Pro is completely turned off now and it's just on normal TV. And if I was to use this controller, pretend this is a brand new one now and I'm gonna turn it on, but this will not turn on the PlayStation because it's never been connected to it before. So pretend now we're having problems with the cable. So what we need to do is we need to get our TV remote control and we need to go to the input that the PlayStation is on. So at the moment I'm gonna to go to source and I'm going to go across to PS4 Pro because that's what I've named it. You need to go to whatever HDMI input your one is and I'm going to press enter. And now what it will do is it will turn on the PlayStation. So now I'm just going to wait for that to boot up and the controller is still doing nothing. If I hold down the PlayStation button, it still won't do anything. We're purely using the TV remote control. Right now, instead of coming up with press PlayStation button, it's recognized this as a controller. So now we can just use this. You can see that this still isn't doing anything. Still not connected. So I just need to press enter on the TV remote control. You can also use a keyboard as well. So for example, if you would rather use your keyboard, you can use your keyboard. But you still have to have CEC enabled on your TV, so that HDMI link. Right, and now what we can do is we can work our way up using the menu buttons here to the settings and then go to Bluetooth again. Now I'm gonna go down to devices, press enter, Bluetooth devices, and now we're at this option here again. So now I can hold down the share button here and the PlayStation button and it will start flashing like that. And you can see now it's come up on the screen here, but I still can't do anything here. I need to go down to the new one down here. Remember, I've got two dual shocks, that's why it's coming up with two. And I need to press enter. And it says, do I want to register it? And watch this now, it will go to, let's have a look. 
There you go, it's gone to blue. And now, if you have a look now, I can use this. So now you can see I can use this, and I didn't use a USB cable, and I didn't use another controller to set it up. I use a TV remote via the HDMI CEC. Right, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if it's helped you out and please subscribe for more how-to videos. Take care. Bye now.